Hello everyone, welcome to lesson 14 of C Programming on the Mac. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to use pointers like we learned in the last video. If you haven't checked out the video, better check it out now because this will make no sense then. So um, we're going to learn how to put pointers into our functions, or more specifically the parameters of our functions. So here, this is just a um, setup uh, setup function, and uh, this is all old stuff so far. Uh, we haven't actually added anything that you don't already know. So here we just have our function prototype, and by the way, what this function is going to do is just square a number. So um, we have void for the return type, and it's going to just square whatever number we put into its parameters. So here we start out with int original num gets a value of 5. And now that original num value of 5 is going to be passed on by the function call. So square, the original num, value of 5, is sent on to our square method, or square function. And it uses that value of 5. Num has a value of 5 now. So we just print num, and in our integer thing here, we'll just say, it'll say 5 squared is equal to, and then num time. 5 times 5, basically, is equal to 25. And just to demonstrate this, we'll run it in the console, and as you can see, 5 squared is equal to 25. So that's how um, everything has worked so far. But we haven't really talked about how to return um, a value back to the main. We have talked about um, doing a return type, which um, you should know already. Um, we've We've already talked about how we can use an integer return type, or a double, or something different. Um, but basically, the return type, when we type return and then something else down here, we are returning a value back up to the main function. So um, we have learned how to do that, but the major flaw with returns is that... Um, sorry major flaw with returns is that it can only return one value. So if we want to return multiple values or change multiple values, I shouldn't say return because it's not really returning, it's actually changing values directly. And you'll understand what I mean by this in a second. But um, basically if we, want to, if we want to change multiple values, we can't do that with a return because it can only return one thing and one thing only. So um, that's where pointers come to the rescue, and that's what you're going to learn about in this tutorial. So now we're going to make a method that um, it takes in a number, and then we're going to add um, our integer pointer. So I'm just going to call this my pointer. And so basically, what this is going to do is it's going to pass original num into the number here, and my pointer is going to point to original number as well. So, um, and we do this when we call our function, as you know before, we just separate, separate our individual um, ints or our different variables here by a comma when we're calling our function. So original num has a value of 5, so it'll pass that original num onto num here, which is a value of 5, and then now, like you learned in the last tutorial, with pointers, pointers can only take in two, di well, can use two different things. They have to take an address of another variable. So it's going to find the vari variable address or the address in memory of this variable, so where it's located on your computer basically. And therefore, it can, uh, when we use the star operator, we can change what that actual value is going to be. So um, basically, when we're done this, we can change what the original num actually is. We don't have to return a value, but we just change the number directly. So um, this will make total sense in, um, when I get down to the function. But anyway, we're going to actually, for the pointers, we have to pass the address of where it's located, or else it won't know what it's pointing to. That's obviously the um, idea of pointers. So um, to get the address of this original num, or where it's located on your computer or memory, um, we just use the address of operator, or the ampersand, and then we just say original num. So what this is going to do is original num is going to be passed on here. So our int num has a value of 5 now. And our pointer is going to point to this original num value right here. Okay, so now I just have to change my uh, function down here to match what is up there. So my pointer. 
And now um, we're not actually gonna we're not gonna print anything now in this method. But what I'm gonna try to show you here is that when we run this, uh, um, what's gonna happen is original num has a value of five, so it'll pass original num obviously in um, the square call, or the square function call. So five goes to here, and the address of original num is gonna go to the pointer. So now we have two different variables to work with. We have the actual value of 5 and we have the original num address. So all we're going to do, because what our what our objective for this is, is we want to change this original num to now become the squared value of what 5 squared is, or 5 times 5. So now all we have to say is my pointer with the star operator, which means the actual value. So now we just say a num times num times whoa, num times num and that's the same as squaring a value so 5 times 5 is 25 5 squared 25 so what this is going to do is 5 times 5 25 and now the pointer since this is with a star operator that means the actual value so since my pointer is pointing to original num because we gave it the address right here so the value of 25 is now going to become uh, the new value of original num so now original num when we come back up after we run this method original num from the program after this uh, or after we call this after it runs all this and returns to the main original num now has a value of 25 because we changed it directly using a pointer so now all we have to do are for our square function, our square function is done, but now I want to print this message or print what the value is up in our main function to prove that we indeed did change original num's value. So as you can see, we used a, a void return type, so we're not actually returning any information just to prove that to you. So now we can just say um, the squared, ooh, squared value uh, we'll just say is and then we'll give our um, integer there and see what can I say I'm gonna put in original num because that's the actual that's the value that we want to put in so let's go ahead and run this just to show that this works and all and as you can see the squared value is 25 so one last time running through this now we make a function with a normal integer and then a pointer. And pointer is way different than just a normal integer. So here when we make our function call in our main method here, we have we pass the value of original num, which is a value of five. So num is going to get a value of five now. And our pointer is going to point to or get the address of original num. So now our pointer is pointing to this original num right here. So when we change what pointer is, it's going to change what original num is. Okay, so now we go on to our function down here, and what it's going to do, num now is a value of 5 from our call, and my pointer is going to have this address of original num. So now all we have to do to square this number is multiply the num uh, by itself, so 5 times 5, 25, and we give that value, value back to the pointer, since the pointer is pointing to this original number value with the star operator, it can change that value directly. So now, when we say 5 times 5, this gives the value of 25 to my pointer. And since my pointer is pointing to original num in memory, it will change that value. And now original num has a value of 25. And as you can see, when we print this, our original num has a value of 25. So that's pointers in functions. If you like these tutorials, uh, please subscribe to the channel and uh, leave a comment if you have any questions or send me a message via the YouTube messaging thingy. And um, yeah, if you have um, anything else that you want to ask or request, whatever, uh, just yeah, leave it in the comments and thumbs up or thumbs down the video. Hopefully you thumbs up it. But anyway, um, until next time, uh, this was Lesson 14, and hope you like the tutorials. See you next time.